Hey, happy Friday, everyone. I wanted to send a quick video email to give you an update on what's been happening in the real estate market so far this year, 2021. Um, so right now, um, in the first two weeks of the year, 200 residential houses came on the market. Last year, in that same period of time, it was 214. Uh, so there is just about six and a half percent fewer homes coming on the market right now compared to last year at this time. Uh, this year, 193 homes went under contract in the first two weeks of the year. Last year, it was 172. Uh, so that's a difference of 12.2%. So 12.2% more homes are under contract this year compared to the same time frame last year. Um, 182 homes closed in the first half of this month of this year compared to last year, 155. So that is about 17.4% more homes closed at the beginning of this year compared to this time last year. The average sales price of those homes that closed this year was $353,500. And the average last year was 320. Uh, so that's a difference of 10.5%. Uh, so the average price has gone up 10.5% over the same period of time last year. And the hugest, the biggest difference is time on market is taking three quarters less time uh, to sell a home this year than it did last year so last year it was 33 days on the market was an average and this year it is eight eight days on the market um, so that's where you can really see the pace of the market right now um, the major way i like to look at the difference between the number of homes on the market how many are going under contract is looking at what the actual demand is. And this year, uh, in the first two weeks of the year, the demand is 96.5%. So for every 100 homes that go on the market, 96.5 of them are going under contract. Um, and last year, it was 80.4. So you can see the demand has increased about 16.5% uh, over last year. So that's where you feel this sense of urgency and that's why the days on market are so low. Uh, fallout rate, that's the comparison between the number of homes that go under contract and the number of homes that actually close. So there are some homes that go under contract that end up not closing at all. Um, and so this year so far, that's 6.7%. So out of every 10, um, excuse me, out of every 100 houses that go under contract, six, seven of them uh, will not go to closing with that contract. Um, last year, it was about 10%. Uh, so it's a little bit better this year than last year. So I pay attention to the market. I had a team meeting earlier this week and we were talking about what indicators are going to be out there when the market starts to change. And the number one indicator that I have seen um, in my nearly 20 years of practicing real estate is the days on market. The days on market, if that starts to increase, that's when we're seeing um, a little bit of a change. Now, I want to make sure everyone understands that the market we had in 2008 was not something that happened all of a sudden. We started experiencing changes in the Fredericksburg area in July of 2005. So the rest of the world is saying, oh, it's a seller's market. We have this bubble going on, this crazy stuff. Um, it started in July of 2005. So it literally took uh, nearly three years for people to notice that the real estate market changed. So if the days on market do start to change, again, it's gonna be a gradual change in the year and it's nothing to be alarmed about, okay? Um, so I will be keeping tabs on that and I will have more updates out to you in the future. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and hope this gives you some inspiration and looking forward. And if you know of anyone who is thinking of making a move this year, here in Virginia especially, I would love to be able to help them personally. But if they're looking at making a move in another state or another country, I have great, I have a great network of agents that can help them in those areas as well. So reach out to me and I can connect them with someone. And again, if you know someone locally who'd like my help, please reach out to me and I'd be happy to take care of them. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.